What's up guys? It is Wednesday, July 18th. Yep, July 18th, and I have been challenged. I have been challenged to a full day of plant-based eating. I said no at first. I did. I got challenged on Instagram. Brenna asked me to do a full day of plant-based eating, and I was like, nope. I like my meat. Then I was thinking about it as the morning went on, and I'm like, you know what? I like that challenge. Give it to me. I have clients who are plant-based. I have people on Instagram that follow me for food ideas that are plant-based. I want to help you guys out, even though I don't enjoy it. I'll make it delicious. So, mmm. Oh my god, if I could eat fruit all day, I'd be, I'd be good. I'm eating 125 grams of golden, yeah, that just flew right off my plate. Golden kiwi, <clears throat> which is fucking delicious. The only place I have found it is Fresh Market. If you get golden kiwi, you can eat the skin. I have been every morning eating the skin, but I end up spitting it out because it's just hard. Um, ooh, they're so fucking good. This is my first bite of food today and it's 11, 11, 16. I'm gonna show you a full day of plant-based eating. It's gonna be fucking delicious, right? It's gonna be good. I'm not excited, but it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna go, I'll see you. Buy golden kiwi and thank me later. I'll see you after F45. I can't believe I'm not eating egg whites. I'm tripping. I can't believe I'm doing this. Luna, what am I doing? What am I doing to myself? It's okay. It's just one day. See ya. See ya after F45. Okay, back from F45. I look like a boy, but I swear I have hair. It's just back there. Um, I'm gonna try to show you how I make all my recipes for this full day of vegan eating. So if the video goes long, oh well. So I'm gonna make an acai bowl because that F45 class kicked my fucking ass. I can totally tell that I need a rest day because it was hard, like harder than usual. My legs are killing me. I need a rest day so bad. So that's the only thing I'm gonna do today. But I get these organic acai puree packets from Trader Joe's, So, and I thaw it under hot water. So I'm gonna add that to my food processor. If you have a blender, you can use a blender. I just don't have one, so I have a really high-powered um, food processor, which actually works amazing, and I don't, I think this works better. I don't know. I'm gonna add these frozen little bananas. Um, I got 100 grams here. I usually do add frozen berries to it, but I kind of want to control the amount of carbs in this meal and just make up maybe a smaller acai bowl because going plant-based, um, my carbs and my fats are going to be a lot higher because I that's the only thing I can really eat. Um, I don't have animal protein to keep me full, so to get full and I have a big appetite, I know my carbs are probably gonna be up there today. I'm not really sure. I have no plan, I'm just kinda going with it. So I've never made my acai bowls with just banana, so we're gonna try it. Okay, so I have my BPI protein. It's not vegan protein, but you guys have to forgive me on this one. I just went to the grocery store and spent $80 on vegan shit, and I'm not vegan. I went to Vitamin Shop to see if they have packets of like any vegan protein or like I love the Vega Sport vegan protein. I actually really do like it, but they didn't have any and I'm not going to buy a whole jug of vegan protein when I just spent 80 bucks. I'm not going to spend $40 on a jug of vegan protein when I'm not vegan. So pretend this is Vega vegan protein. And then something I've been adding to my acai bowls that has been so good is a tablespoon of cacao powder. <gasps> it mm, it's so good to me, like I'm obsessed. So adding cacao powder, if you haven't ever done it, if you make homemade acai bowls, you have to try it. Okay, we got that. And then I add my Trader Joe's stevia, ride or die this with this shit, sweetens it up. And I just sprinkle a random amount. And then I'm gonna do cashew milk. 
and I'm gonna do a third of a cup. Um, I'm probably not gonna fill it up the whole way though. I'll probably fill it up half of the way and then I'll add the milk as I see the consistency because I love a thick acai bowl. And I probably don't need that much milk because I didn't add the berries that I normally add. So now I'm just gonna blend it up. Okay, so I just topped the acai bowl with 20 grams of these very berry Cheerios. I just bought them and I had a, just like a couple just to try them. They're so fucking good. If you have no self-control, don't buy them. They are so good. I kind of regret buying them because that's how good they are. And this is a smaller acai bowl. I usually get so much more acai batter, but I do use a lot more fruit usually, which sucks. I, I'm This is not going to have me very full at all but I'm going to add cashew butter so my little trick to more volume from your cashew butter let me just see how much I logged to have so I'm gonna have 14 grams of cashew butter now I put it in a little uh, measuring cup I weigh it out so I'm just gonna weigh out 14 sad grams okay fuck it. we're doing 16 grams because because and I add Walden Farms. Then the secret is to heat it up. I heat it up for like 10 seconds. So here is my acai bowl. It's actually my first meal of the day, my first real meal, and it is 2.13. That never happens. So this bowl is, I will put the macros on the screen because I did just add 11 grams of cacao nib because I wanted some chocolate and this is my first meal at 2.13. So I'm gonna eat this. I just wanna quickly point out that that little almond butter, cashew butter, and Walden Farms thing that I did in the microwave, that gives you more so for like for no additional calories. So I love doing that. Um, I have done like the um, powdered almond butter before and it just doesn't have the same creamy, it doesn't taste the same. So I'll never do that again on my acai bowl. Oh my God, I look like a boy, I need to shower. But I'm gonna eat this and watch Rachel Ray. Mm. Wow, this is, this is really, really good. I feel like it's my best one yet, but maybe I'm just hungry. I've never topped it with Cheerios. This very berry Cheerios with the cashew butter, with the cacao nibs, and then like the acai bowl tastes chocolatey because of the cacao powder I used. Oh my God, you guys have to try this recipe. All right, next meal. It is 3.54. I'm so hungry. I was hungry after the acai bowl, let's be honest. But I waited, I showered, haven't done my hair yet, but we're getting there. So I bought this falafel mix from Trader Joe's forever ago, so long ago. Been waiting to make them. And all you do is add water. So super simple, except you have to wait forever so this is the deal I weighed out the mix I did 
50 grams of falafel mix with a third of a cup of water and it says to cover and let sit. So it looks like this. And now I have the air fryer heating up. So I have about four minutes left in the air fryer. I don't have a recipe for this. There was no air fryer instructions. So this is completely winging it on the fly. I'll let you know if you should follow my rules or if I royally fucked up. So I'm just gonna make these into little falafel balls right now. They're so small. Damn. All right, so I have my three little falafel balls and they smell really good. Mm. And I am going to add them to my air fryer. I have cooking spray. And I have the air fryer at 350 because that's what it says to bake them at. I have no idea. So I'm gonna spray the bottom of my air fryer, place the little balls right in the center, and I'm gonna spray the little balls. And put them in the air fryer. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing. So I put it for 370. I don't know why. 370 for 10 minutes. I'm going with it. So now I'm gonna make my own vegan <laughs> tzatziki, which I don't know how to do. I know what tzatziki is made out of. It's out of sour cream. So we're gonna use coconut milk yogurt. And um, we're gonna see how it goes. We'll do 50 grams. I don't need a lot, because I'm just making a little wrap. And it's just for me. And I'm gonna add fresh dill that I chopped up. Uh, we'll just, we'll do that much. And then I also sliced up a little cucumber. I could have grated it but I just felt like chopping it. And then lemon juice. And the pink Himalayan sea salt. And some garlic powder. Okay, so it's way too watery. So I'm gonna add some more coconut milk yogurt. If this doesn't uh, taste good, it doesn't look good. It really, really, really doesn't look good. Ooh, it tastes good. I just made tzatziki. Holy shit. But it's really watery. Motherfucker. It's so good though. Oh, I just made tzatziki. Vegan, on accident. It's really thin. This tastes really fucking good. And I'm super proud of myself, as you can tell. But coconut milk yogurt is really liquidy. So, vegans, can you eat Greek yogurt? I don't know the answer. That's dairy. Okay, Christina, you're smart. You're smarter than that. All the vegans are laughing right now. Okay, I get it. But look, it's super watery, but it tastes really good. So I might just, I might just fuck with it. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna leave this. Um, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit more cucumber because I have some extra. Why not, right? Cucumber can make it chunky. This is what it looks like. It's really watery, but you guys, I swear to God, it tastes like tzatziki. So I'm gonna eat it anyway. So. I'm gonna straighten my hair or try to start straightening my hair and then hopefully I don't fuck up the falafel because that's all we got to eat or else I have to cook something else and I don't want to so I'll see you when the falafels are done hopefully all right guys here we go so I have no idea if the falafels are done <laughs> So I'm using these wraps, be free. They, I'm doing uh, gluten free. I don't know if I mentioned that or if I just said it on Instagram. So this is a plant-based and gluten free 
full day of eating. So these are wheat and gluten free. It is thir 13 grams of carbs for one, which is really good. I layered some romaine lettuce, some tomato that I just sprinkled a little bit of salt on, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some of this herbaceous seasoning from Eat Clean Meal Prep. This is a super underrated, I don't know if it's focusing, it's a super underrated seasoning from them, and it's delicious. I season whenever I make any mushrooms, That's this is the seasoning that I use. It's really, really good. I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay, just, you know, crumbly. It's warm inside. Oh, all right, yep, crumbly. We're just gonna crumble these motherfuckers. I'm gonna top it with my tzatziki. That is actually really freaking good. Hopefully this like moistens it up a little bit. I let it sit in the fridge, the tzatziki, so it kind of did get thicker a little bit. Mmm. Mmm. Yo, my tzatziki makes this whole fucking thing. I'm not kidding you. Let me show you. That's what it looks like inside. Pretty good, right? Oh my god. It really is good. The tzatziki is dripping a little bit. So I'm so hungry. I'm gonna clean up, drink some water cause I've been slacking on my water. And then I have to eat something else. I've not, I feel like I haven't eaten anything today. So I'll catch you. I'll catch you. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm like not satisfied. I'm not hungry, but I'm not full. I just keep thinking about food. Oh my God, it's my, uh, I'm sorry. My days are never like this. I usually eat very enjoyable meals and I'm full. And I feel like I'm so fucking focused on food today because I'm so hungry. I'm not having fun. I don't like this. I really don't like this. I'm not having a good time. So, fuck. I'm gonna eat uh, two of these Skinny Pop rice cakes, or popcorn cakes, and I topped one with the rest of the tzatziki because it was super good, and then I topped the other one with 12 grams of cashew butter and just two grams of chia seeds to hopefully get me full. Um, I still have dinner to make, which I have in my head, and I will probably be hungry after that. I don't even know. So I'm trying to like not use up all my carbs and my fats, but that's all you really do. And my protein is so low, I wanna cry. But it's okay. I just want this day to be over. I'm gonna eat this. <sighs> and I'm gonna be full, it'll be fine. I'll see you for dinner. All right, it is dinner time. Still haven't done my hair, but I know you guys love me anyway. This is not a beauty channel. This is a foodie channel. So it is 7.28. I have a fun dinner. I have a really fun dinner. I just made this up. I think it's gonna go well. There's no way it can go not well. <laughs> I have a pan heating up real quick. Let me just show you what we're doing. I found these huge, long peppers at the grocery store. Now they came in like one pepper. I cut it in half. I took the seeds out and I roasted it in a 450 degree oven for 15 minutes. I just sprayed them with cooking spray and sprinkled some salt on top. And now they are cool and I'm gonna stuff them. They're like hollow, I'm gonna stuff them with a little cauliflower rice mixture. So I have 110 grams of cauliflower, of rice cauliflower, I bought it pre-riced. And I have, in this cup, I have everything already ready so I can just go, go, go. I have 
lentils. I have 80 grams of lentils. I have one serving of like these mild diced tomatoes with green chilies, just what you find at every single grocery store. I had one serving was 120 grams. And then I love spice, so I have some jalapenos in there. And I am going to saute the rice cauliflower first with some of this enchilada seasoning or um, sauce from Trader Joe's. So the pan is on medium high heat. Just gonna spray with some cooking spray. All right, done. That literally cooks on the stove for like two to three minutes because you don't want to overcook the cauliflower rice or else it's just going to be straight mush and you want the cauliflower rice to mimic rice. There is no reason that I am not eating rice with this. I just thought it would be a good idea to maybe show you lower carb options um, because I want these recipes to be like real life recipes that people can take away and eat and I don't want to just like show you rice and beans because that can get so high carb and I want these like I said to be things that you can actually take away and make for yourself so let's start to fill the peppers Those are all for me, by the way. <laughs> um, I just topped it with two servings of this almond mozzarella. It's not real cheese, so who cares what it's fucking called? It could be cheddar. It's not real. <laughs> so I'm putting it on some Mexican stuffed peppers. Vegan Mexican stuffed peppers. I don't know. I'm going to name it. I just made this up. But in the oven on a low broil for just like a minute or two, but I'm going to mix the rest of this coconut milk yogurt with some hot sauce and some lemon juice and probably some seasonings for a little crema on top. So I'm gonna do that right now. I outdid myself holy shit I still have one on the stove that couldn't fit on the plate so I'm gonna save that guy for later cuz oh you better believe I'm eating it and I also roasted asparagus but I don't even need it look at this fucking meal even if you're not vegan enjoy this but if you are not vegan and you do want to add more protein to this um, sh ground beef ground turkey ground chicken my salsa chicken all would be so good. Oh my god, ground beef crumbled on this. Ground beef crumbled on this would be so good. I'm sorry, vegans, but it would taste really good. Just look at this. Oh my god, I'm dead. Wow, and I put it on a bed of lettuce, that vegan almond cheese. I'm so hyped. There's just so much flavor. And I love the lettuce actually, because it gives it a crunchy component that it definitely needs. Mm. Wow. 
This is really good. I'm gonna eat this. Mm. It's so good. If I had some fresh cilantro, that's all I keep thinking. Some cilantro on this. Mwah. Oh my God, so good. I'm diving in, I gotta go. All right guys, it is eight o'clock. Just finished eating <clears throat> that delicious meal. And yes, I went back for that last one. So how many was that, six? I don't know, but I'm finally full. <clears throat> I was kind of going a little bit lower carb because I really thought that I would need some cereal at the end of the night. I was gonna do some of that, the Cheerios with a scoop of protein and some cashew milk. But it's eight o'clock and we usually go up to bed around nine. And I'm full, man, I am full. Um, overview of the day really quick. It tasted really good. I had three meals total. And um, I feel super bloated. I talked to Instagram a little bit about it. I <clears throat> don't feel great. I feel really bloated. Um, my body doesn't look tight and it wasn't, I'm not talking about after this last really big meal. Um, I have to let Bailey out. So I gotta go, but um, I just, I feel super bloated. And I, I'm projecting that I'll probably be up on the scale tomorrow because of how bloated I feel. Um, I had a shit ton of fiber today. So last time I looked, it was at like 50 grams of fiber and I, that's a lot of fiber. So maybe it was the fiber, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this plant-based life. I'm really not, I don't feel good. Um, so I'm super excited for tomorrow to come so I can have my normal meals of like just chicken and rice. That's all I want because I feel so bloated. Um, and I and I look bloated, so that's that. Not a fan. I'm sorry, I can't be converted. Maybe I'll have a plant-based meal here and there, but uh, never a full day ever again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Any other challenges you got for me? I'm willing to take it on. I'm really impressed with my meals today. They were really delicious. I hope you try them. If you do, please let me know how you liked them. And if you are vegan, um, please tell me if this helped you at all with any ideas for some new meals because that's what my goal was, was to give you guys some new ideas. So like this video if you liked it and please subscribe for more of these cooking and eating videos. So see you guys in the next one. Bye.